Welcome to Sky TV, where we come to get financially lit. And in this video, I'm going to explain three ways I'm currently preparing for the upcoming recession. So now, let's get started. Look, the first thing I'm doing is I'm securing another form of consistent income. So what I personally did, I'm not saying for everyone to do it, is I went ahead and got my foot in the door with a third part-time job. I worked two jobs already, but I wanted to make sure that I would have consistent income during a recession. So I got a third job and I'm working part-time. I'm literally working nine hours a week, which is not much, but it will secure me if anything happens to my other two jobs. If one of those fail or go underwater and I have to lay off workers, I will be okay because I can go to my third job and say, okay, hey, look, can you increase my hours from nine to 40 or nine hours to 35? But maybe if you have one job, you can say, okay, if I have extra free time, maybe I can go ahead and get my foot in the door for a second job that I've been wanting or I've been looking at. A little part-time position that you know if anything happens to your first job, you can simply go to your second job and increase the hours in a very short period of time. That way you are safe if anything happened to your main source of income. And yes, I do have multiple side gigs. I do have multiple side hustles and so on. But side hustles don't really compare to a nine to five when it comes to consistent income companies are usually less profitable because of many factors and they usually cut expenses which is a fancy way of saying either cut hours back or lay off employees so secure yourself get a second job if need to it can be part-time but that's one way i'm securing or prepping for this upcoming recession. Second way I'm preparing for this upcoming recession is I plan on paying off all my debt entirely. I plan on paying off all my debt because as you know, the feds is hiking up interest rates. It's been on the headlines nonstop. But what that means is the cost of borrowing money increases. That means credit card debt becomes more expensive, house loan, auto loans, lines of credit, and so on. Any type of debt will usually have an increase in interest as time goes on. The banks don't try to do it as soon because they don't want to seem greedy, but within the next few billing cycles, you will definitely see an increase in your APR for whatever debt you currently have. If it's a variable, if it's fixed, then you're good to go. But if it's changing as the market changes, then you will see an increase in interest rates as the time goes on. Me personally, I'm not trying to deal with any type of debt especially as the cost of borrowing money is increasing and during a recession where my income might be going through a turbulence jobs might be laying people off and so on i don't want to deal with having debt on top of worrying about my main sources of income being interrupted so i'm going to go ahead and pay off all of my debt i kind of been paying it off aggressively and i have about 400 bucks left which is very very good i give myself a little kudos a little round of applause but I do plan on knocking off all my debt because I do not want that worry on my head during a time of recession. And now we go into way number three, which is increase my emergency fund. That one should be a given being of all the things I explained earlier. I mean, most of our main sources of income, which is a nine to five, will be at risk or a higher risk of being interrupted or cut off. So it only makes sense to increase your emergency fund. So for me, I have been saving more money. My New Year's resolution was to add 10K to my savings. I'm currently around 5,200 to be exact. Um, add it to my savings for the year, which is really good. I plan on having one year worth of all my expenses saved up. When I say all my expenses, I mean my rent, light bill, water bill, phone bill and things of like that, all that added up 12 months and then save up that amount. So I do plan on having 12 months worth of my expenses saved up in my savings account. And that is way number three. I'm currently preparing for this upcoming recession. And that wraps up the video. I am paying down debt. I'm increasing my savings, AKA emergency fund. And I got a third part-time job. Well, not third part-time, a third job that's part-time that I can increase to full-time whenever I need to. If you like the video, hit that like button and that subscribe button. If you have any way that you are prepping for this recession, comment them down below. This is Sky TV, where we come to get financially lit. Thank y'all for watching and I'm gonna see y'all at my next video. Peace.